Hi, my name is Ben Wisner. I'm a senior member of the Read Live team, and my job is to educate and support teachers and administrators who are using our programs. In this webinar, I'm going to provide you with an overview of Read Naturally Live Espanol, the Spanish language version of Read Naturally Live that develops the literacy skills of multilingual readers. This mostly independent reading program supports native Spanish speakers in improving their Spanish reading fluency while developing general reading skills with Spanish texts. The program may be used with Spanish speaking students before or while a student learns to read in English. The program also helps students learning to read Spanish texts fluently as an additional language. I'll be presenting this information using slides and live demonstration in a sample Read Live account. Accompanying this presentation is a printable handout with the slides and associated resource links. You can also find links to more basics presentations that teach and inform about the other Read Live programs, Read Naturally Live, Word Warmups Live, and One Minute Reader Live. If you have questions after you've viewed the webinar, please let us know and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with a response. Feel free to share this webinar with others in your school or district who may find it of value. Thanks again for joining me. Now let's get started. Read Live is our research-based uh, reading intervention platform, which consists of Read Naturally Live, Word Warmups Live, One Minute Reader Live, and Read Naturally Live Espanol. When choosing the appropriate program, please consider this chart, which is available in your handout. Today, we'll be covering Read Naturally Live Espanol, which builds native Spanish speakers fluency in Spanish and supports any student Spanish reading development. The levels that are available in Read Naturally Live Espanol are Read Naturally Sequence Series 1.0 through 4.5. Spanish content and Spanish or English directions are available for students to support English language learners. When scheduling any of our Read Live programs, consider these recommendations. For both Read Naturally Live and Read Naturally Live Espanol, we recommend 30 minutes per session, three to five days a week. For Word Warmups Live, 10 to 30 minutes is what we recommend, three to five days a week. You can use it as a 10 minute warm up for tier one or for tiers two and three, 20 to 30 minute intervention time. One minute Reader Live, because it's an independent reading program, can be used at any time, either as independent reading time at home or in the classroom, for homework, or in a summer reading program. Read Naturally Live Espanol, like all of our programs, uh, is based on the Read Naturally strategy. This research-based strategy has been around for over 30 years and is used in thousands of schools around the country and consists of teacher modeling, repeated reading and progress monitoring. For the teacher modeling piece, students read along with a fluent reader, modeling their pace, their accuracy and their expressiveness. Students read the passage several times until they are reading accurately and fluently, and they are provided with uh, visual cues and auditory cues to assist them in monitoring their own progress, uh, which motivates them and uh, keeps them moving forward. Read Naturally Live Espanol, in short, is an interactive reading program for learning to read in Spanish. Students have support and structured practice opportunities for both native Spanish and native English speakers. There are options for teachers to easily differentiate instruction for individual student needs. There are opportunities for teachers to work with students one-on-one. -on -one. All of the content is high interest nonfiction text. And there are also English translations for all of the stories in Read Naturally Live Espanol. Read Naturally Live Espanol supports the needs of students in a variety of settings, including English as a second language and transitional bilingual programs, dual language programs, immersion programs, migrant education programs, adult basic education programs, and mainstream general and special education classrooms. This chart provides a comparison and a differentiation between Read Naturally Live and Read Naturally Live Espanol. The primary difference is that all content and all user interface elements in Read Naturally Live Espanol are in Spanish. The other difference is there are eight levels in Read Naturally Live Espanol versus 23 levels in Read Naturally Live. To get started in Read Naturally Live Espanol, there are four steps. 
First, you'll want to license your students. Then you'll provide access to them as needed. Third, you'll place the students to determine their starting reading level and goal. And finally, you'll teach the steps to students. I'll talk about all four of these steps in my demonstration. The poster that you see in front of you is uh, available on our website from the Read Live Help page. Again, I'll demonstrate where you can find that along with other helpful resources that both teachers and students can use while working in the program. What I'm gonna do now is switch over to my live demo. And the first thing that I'm going to do is point out that uh, when you log in, you can either log in as either a staff member or a student to read live. First, I'll log in as a staff member and then I'll log in as a student. When staff members log in, they can either go to an orientation and resources page for more help and information about how to use the program or go to the home page where you have access to the different screens that you'll use on a daily basis. You can also find access to these screens in the upper left-hand corner from the menu. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to assign access to students. So when you're first setting up students in Read Live and you add students, you'll complete this information. First, you'll license the student and then you'll provide them access by clicking on this checkbox. Let's take a look at an existing student here. James Miley. James has been entered and has been uh, added, uh, ha has been provided with a license for Joe Teacher. I'm now going to assign him access to Read Naturally Live Espanol just by clicking on this checkbox and clicking Save and Close. Once you've done that, you'll want to go to the Read Naturally Live Espanol tile. And now you can see that James Miley has been added to my list of students that have access to Read Naturally Live Espanol. He's been automatically assigned a reading level of 1.0 and a goal of 50, which of course you will probably want to change. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But first I want to show you that you can change story options for your students. And by that, I mean, you can uh, provide uh, more or less access to different aspects within the program. So I'll click on the checkbox next to his name and click change story options. And this is where you can turn on or off certain steps. You can change the amount of time that students have to complete the prediction and the retell. Uh, but the main thing I wanna point out to you here is that for James Miley in Read Naturally Live Espanol, you can allow him to uh, read along with an English speaking narrator with an English translation of, this, uh, of the passages in his level by clicking on this checkbox. Once you've done that, an English read-along will always appear before the uh, Spanish read-alongs. I'll click save and close. The other things that are available, uh, other options and features that you can see on the screen are print stories, for example. Print stories allows you to print any story or group of stories basically generating them as PDF files, which can be saved or printed out. And these are in Spanish, of course. If you wanna see this story in English, you can print it out from the Read Naturally Live uh, screen. The other thing that I wanna point out to you is that uh, I mentioned that the level and goal are automatically set for the student. In order to place a student, we have a resource on our website, which is a placement uh, set of placement instructions. Uh, we don't have an automated placement test the way we do with Read Naturally Live, but it's fairly straightforward if you follow these directions to place your students. I'll point out to you where you can find this document a little bit later on in my demo. Once you place students and you want to change their levels and goals, you click on the edit button under the assignment column. And then you can change levels and goals. 
The other thing I'd like to point out to you is where to access reports for Read Naturally Live Espanol. You'll go to the central reports area. And then you can see there are reports for the different programs. Click on Read Naturally Live Espanol reports. And you have access to the students at a glance report, level reports, and story details. So for example, Felice has completed a story. I'll click generate. And this is her story details report, which you can print. Or if we go to the students at a glance report, same thing. We just have to provide a reporting period. And as you can see, all of the reports are in English, even for We Naturally Live Espanol. Other features that are available within Read Naturally Live Espanol are our standard distance learning features. You can log in as the student uh, for easier screen sharing. There's a current story details report and students that are waiting for cold and hot timings in Read Naturally Live Espanol will also appear in the waiting list. And you'll see uh, that they're in Read Naturally Live Espanol under the application column. So high level overview of the staff member module. Let's take a look at how students use the program. I'll log in as both a Spanish and an English student. In other words, I'll log in for both Read Naturally Live Espanol and for Read Naturally Live. Please select a story. So when a student logs in for Read Naturally Live, they're taken to their story selection screen. As you can see, this is level 1.5. Por favor, seleccione una lectura. And this is the same level in Read Naturally Live Espanol. So as you can see, it's the exact same content, but the audio instructions and the stories themselves are in Spanish. So I'll click on the baseball story. El baseball. ¿Está listo para empezar la lectura? Haga clic en cada palabra clave para aprender la palabra y lo que significa. I'll do the same for Read Naturally Live. Baseball. Are you ready to start this story? Click each key word to learn the word and what it means. Again, the content is the same. Bateador. El bateador es el jugador de béisbol que trata de pegarle a la pelota con el bate. Batter. The batter is the baseball player who tries to hit the ball with the bat. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is just... Um, kind of fast forward uh, to get to the next step. So bear with me here for a moment while I do that. Okay, once all of the uh, key vocabulary words have been clicked on and notice uh, the gold stars that appear next to each word indicating uh, that it has been selected, the next button uh, displays allowing the student to move forward. Mire el título de la lectura, palabras clave y la imagen. Escriba una predicción sobre la lectura. A continuación, haga clic en Siguiente para continuar. And so the next step is prediction, where students write a short prediction based on the story title, picture, and one or more of the keywords that they were introduced to in the earlier step. They have two minutes to complete the step uh, in the story options uh, screen that I showed you earlier. Teachers can choose to provide more or less uh, time for the prediction, or they can turn this step off entirely. Also note in the lower left-hand column, students can listen to instructions in both English and Spanish. Look at the story title, key words, and picture. Write a prediction about the story. Then, click Siguiente to continue. So I have moved forward in my Read Naturally Live uh, program as well to the prediction step. And again, as you can see, 
It's the same program, uh, but uh, with Spanish translation. So students must type something into this box before being allowed to move forward. Play Wordtastic while you wait for your teacher. Click the best answer to score points. Click on the words you don't know to hear them read to you. And I'll do the same for Read Naturally Live Español. Juegue Wordtastic mientras espera a su profesor. Haga clic en la mejor respuesta para marcar puntos. Haga clic en las palabras que no sabe para escucharlas. So for Wordtastic, students wait for the teacher to arrive to listen to them read for the cool timing step. Uh, while the student is waiting, they can play this Wordtastic game, which is a synonym and antonym word matching game. It's essentially a, a waiting activity while students wait for the teacher to arrive. They receive points for correct answers. And if you get it uh, incorrect, the answer is provided for you. And of course, you can click on any of these words. Walk. Rope. To hear them spoken aloud. And the same thing would be true, obviously, in We Naturally Live Espanol as well. When a teacher is available, he or she will come to click this uh, conduct cold timing. Uh, if you are doing uh, remote learning, remember that you can use the login as uh, button uh, in the staff member module. Um, and I also want to point out to you, as I said earlier, if students are in, uh, are in either the, the cold timing step or the pass timing step, uh, waiting for the teacher, they will appear in the waiting list. And that would be true of both Read Naturally Live and Read Naturally Live Espanol. And as you can see here, both of my students are listed uh, and uh, the red button, uh, the login as button indicates that the students uh, are logged in. Uh, and in this case, waiting for the teacher to arrive. So teacher does have a heads up uh, that that is happening. So let me log in as the student, uh, I'm sorry, log in as the teacher for Read Naturally Live Espanol. Haga clic en Iniciar y comience a leer. Haga clic en las palabras que no sabe para escucharlas. Haga clic en Terminado si termina de leer antes de que suene la campana. So, uh, for the call timing, student reads to the teacher for one minute. And the teacher simply is listening to and also helping the student to identify any missed words. And a missed word would be a, a word that has been skipped, stopped on for more than a few seconds, uh, or stumbled over. In other words, a student mispronounces that word. When a word uh, is a difficult word, it should be clicked on. Uh, we typically expect students to do that at some point for some students. Teachers should always be doing that, but when students are first starting to use the program, we want to have the teachers show the student how to perform that task. So basically, teacher will model clicking on difficult words. Pegarle. Bateador. Primera. As you can see, those words are underlined, they're spoken aloud, and we're also subtracting those words from the score to give us a words correct per minute score. Haga clic en la última palabra que leyó cuando sonó la campana. And after the one minute timing is over, student or teacher clicks on the last word the student read correctly. Haga clic en siguiente para continuar. That gives us our uh, cold timing score. And then we'll click next. Mire cuántas palabras leyó correctamente por minuto. Haga clic en siguiente para continuar. And the student sees their, their call timing compared to their goal. Haga clic en iniciar para leer juntos. O haga clic en siguiente para continuar. For the read along, students read along with the narrator uh, in Spanish. Uh, and they also have access to vocabulary words. Some of these were introduced to us earlier. Uh, like bateador, 
and some of them would be new. And students can explore these by clicking on them. Base. Una base es el lugar a donde el beisbolista corre después de pegarle a la pelota. And uh, I do want to remind you that you can, the teacher can turn on an English read along before coming to the screen. Um, and you do that in story options, which you can actually also access from the menu up in the upper right hand corner. You simply go to change story options and you can turn English read along on. This can happen obviously before students start working. Haga clic en Iniciar y lea juntos mientras se lea la lectura. And as you can see, if English uh, translation has been turned on for the read-along step, students would uh, have access to the text in English with an English-speaking narrator. So let's listen to that. Baseball is a fun game to play. It is played with a bat and ball. The pitcher throws the ball. Haga clic en Iniciar para leer juntos de nuevo. And after they've completed one uh, English read-along, they would return to the Spanish read-alongs to complete uh, as many times as the teacher has indicated. And the default number of read-alongs would be three. But again, as I showed you earlier, you can, you can adjust that um, to one, to five, etc. So I'm going to stop my demo here. I uh, hope that gives you enough uh, information to uh, see the, the difference between the Spanish uh, version, the Read Naturally Live Espanol, and uh, the English version, Read Naturally Live. So I'm going to switch back to my PowerPoint. And as you can see, after the read along, uh, there will be a practice. Uh, where students practice without the support of a narrator. There will be a quiz where students answer multiple choice and short answer quiz questions. Uh, a retell where students write a short summary of the story in their own words. And then the final uh, conducting uh, past activities that the uh, teacher performs with the student present. Student reads the story to the teacher uh, and a teacher evaluates the open-ended quiz questions and the retell, and then assigns additional remedial work if the student has not met all of the five criteria for passing a story. And those would be reading accurately, reading with expression, reading at the goal rate, responding to all of the quiz questions correctly, uh, and uh, responding to the retell according to the teacher's expectations. So essentially the same as in the sequence series in Read Naturally Live. I pointed out to you the uh, uh, areas where you can access reports within uh, the staff member module. This is just another example of the students at our glance report for Read Naturally Live Espanol. And then uh, I'm gonna wrap up by providing you with uh, a look at our Read Live help page where you can find additional resources. I mentioned the placement packet So on our Read Live help page, which you can access from the uh, menu, Read Live menu on our website at readnaturally.com, just click that. And that will bring you to this page where you can uh, view a number of videos for all of our programs. <clears throat> If you scroll down, you'll see them on the left side of the screen. And then on the right side, you will see uh, more resources, uh, both for Read Live in general, hot topics at the top, including uh, detailed information about distance learning. And then towards the bottom on the right side, you'll see our Read Naturally Live Espanol section, which includes links to the user guide, recorded webinars uh, that we've done in the past, The Student's Guide to Read Naturally Live is an excellent resource for students uh, to gain instruction on how to use the program. 
and these are in Spanish language. And then the placement packet that I mentioned earlier can be found, uh, or the placement instructions, I should say, can be found in the job aids uh, area of uh, the Read Naturally Live Espanol section in the uh, Read Live help page. So I'll go back to my PowerPoint. I want to just reiterate that you can find other uh, basics webinars on our website. So feel free to access those. Um, that concludes our webinar on the basics of Read Naturally Live Espanol. I hope the information I shared and the live demonstration was useful to you. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to check out the rest of our Read Live help page and reach out to us if you have additional questions about any of our programs. Thanks again for joining me.